Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jillian. Today I am going to be doing an original tag by Kelly Reads A Lot. How in the world do moms read? That's a very good question. If you have not checked out Kelly's channel, I highly recommend that you do. She just has this warmth about her. She's so welcoming, has this lovely smile, and she's so passionate about the books that she reads. She tagged me back in May for Mother's Day. I'm a little bit behind, so I hope, Kelly, that you don't mind that I am just now getting to this. The first question, how do you get any reading done? My boys are older now, so it is quite a lot easier than it used to be. And if I'm completely honest with you, I really didn't get much reading done when they were very little. I did manage to read Game of Thrones when they were babies, so I clearly managed to get some reading time in. Those are some long books. I mostly got that reading in while I was feeding them. It can be helpful to do something else while feeding so that you can fight the urge to fall asleep, so having a book handy is a very useful thing. Though I couldn't find much of my own reading time, I was able to kind of advance their reading skills a bit. So read books that are maybe above their grade level, but bring down the rating, kind of edit the words in the book before they come out of your mouth so it's a little bit more accessible, a little bit more appropriate. We read The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings while they were quite young and I just kind of made it a little bit less gruesome when I was reading it. That changed when they started to be able to read over my shoulder but it was one way to read for myself as well as read for them. What do you like to read to your kids? My boys love anything with a fantastical element in it. If it's real, they just are not interested. For middle grade, I agree with them. I like that little bit of fantasy, that little bit of magic. They absolutely adored Harry Potter, Nevermore. They loved Warriors, Narnia, Redwall. When they were very little, I read a lot of Uncle Wiggly books to them. And in fact, sometimes we still will read one right before bed because it's very nostalgic for us. What are your childhood reading memories? My mother doesn't like to read. I know. I do have memories of my grandmother. I would go to visit her every summer. I would do a lot of reading and a lot of hunting through stores to find the next book that I really wanted to read. Finally, give a word of reading encouragement to other mothers, fathers, caregivers. What I'd say is time flies and in the moment it may be very difficult to read. It's just part of parenthood really. Things are constantly changing. Keep going. You'll be able to read more as time goes by. We'll actually remember fondly when they were pulling on your skirt and your pants and not really allowing you to read very much. So just keep going. So that is all. Thank you all so much for spending this time with me. I will see you next time.